Okay, this is a comparison of, a direct comparison of the Transformers The Last Night Deluxe Class Hot Rod, or Hot Rod, and the Transformers Age of Extinction Deluxe, Deluxe Class Lockdown. I've been getting requests, a ton of requests actually, to do this direct comparison because I, I do apologize. In that earlier video, I didn't feel the need to directly compare it because we've seen a ton of pictures on the internet comparing them side by side. And I didn't feel the need that, uh, to do so in the video because I thought everybody already had an idea and just wanted to focus on Hot Rod. Uh, so anyway, so let's, I, you know, you guys want to see directly how they compare, how they, uh, how they match up with each other. So let's get right to it. Obviously, both figures are not a very good representation of what we were promised in the movie. In the movie, they were both bulky. This guy was more slender, more athletic. This guy was towering. He was massive. He was, he has, he's nothing like this. These two look like, um, just made up or patched up hodgepodge of parts to resemble Hot Rod and and Lockdown. Hot Rod being more accurate, I think, than Lockdown when it, when it comes to the CG versus the CGI renders, uh, respectively, of these figures in the movie. So anyway, um, let me just stand them and get them out of the FX Friends Chefatron pose. Now, uh, okay, let me just finish. Now, obviously, uh, only Lockdown has the weapon. This is a uh, uh, a device or a, a minicon that I picked up from uh, Black Arachnia, and it just I removed some of the parts. I removed the insect legs and the the insect thorax, and it kind of looks like the my weapon. I slow the time. I slow the time. My weapon will slow the time. <sighs> he could have done that. He could have done that with he had that weapon. I mean, he. He could have done that with um, uh, Quintessa, with Megatron. Man, he could control time and space. But he, Michael Bay decided it was just for fun. So, um, obviously, uh, Lockdown has the weapon. Incidentally, if you're not familiar, if you're, you're looking at your screen and saying, oh my god, this Lockdown looks so different from the one we I have. This is the Takara Tomy version. It has better paint apps, obviously, but it's exactly the same mold has this gun face weapon which do that does it fit lot does it fit uh hot rod sure okay in terms of this of the of the scale of the figure this is a very small deluxe class figure and this one is more of just about right in the sweet spot of what a deluxe class figure should be uh maybe a little taller but it is a good height um it's a better use of the mold obviously and we get to see a lot of kibble on a lot of kibble on this particular uh, version of the mold with lockdown. He's got shorter legs. The wheels are here. You get kibble in the arms. Unnecessary stuff. He does not look towering or or massive or or or, or masculine or whatever. He, he he looks fat and chunky. Yeah, this guy looks very slender, um, but. He was in the movie. Was more of like a boxer. It was more like Bumblebee, but he's very slender, Sl slender, slender. He's very slender and he's very svelte. I was thinking about svelte, and uh, he's very fit, very thin. But you can see remnants of the mold from each. The chest plate should have been like this one. The the bumper should be up to here. You should see the front part of the car here, but it didn't do that. Um, going to the back, you get to see very, very similar transformation. You get the back of the Lamborghini right here and the windshield right here in front. Uh, but the side uh, windows, you don't see it there. Uh, you get the front of the hood. Here is almost the entire hood. This one is just a piece of the hood, the middle section of the hood. And then you get to see more of these kibble right here, the bumper or the rear end of the Lamborghini. You get the wheels here and here, but instead of the wheels on the hips, Hot Rod has the wheels on his forearms, which I think was a better move on the part of the mold. The mold still shares the same uh, dual action or simultaneous action uh, axle on the hips, same as this one, but this one, they made it a ratcheting joint, so uh, that that's actually pretty good. Very nice improvement on the mold. They both retain the same uh, ball hinge uh, elbow and ball jointed shoulders that are on hinges. 
you get that here as well but i think there's more movement and articulation on this one this one uh, just so much hindered i don't know why there's this one seems to have more cable than this one but this one seems to be more hindered and they have this same pin joint uh, ball hinge ankles so basically the same and then the ball jointed uh, neck basically the same uh what i think what they did with the with the hot rod mold is they elongated the torso but as you can see it's got the same transformation that same that gray piece right there that locks into uh that the the midsection of the body right there is also the same kind of mold or technology they use for this one but this one is a little bit smaller and it's a little bit more loose uh the legs are longer on this one obviously um the feet look the same the lower legs look exactly the same however the upper legs or the thighs are a bit longer on this one than this one uh, shoulders they're different everything's different i think only the legs the lower legs are the same but everything else is different even uh, the pieces the like the neck piece looks the same uh, this looks the same this hinge looks the same that looks the same so they recycled a lot from this mold. So the, how do they transform? The articulation is the same, almost the same. How do they transform? They transform roughly the same way. So let's see if we can do that right now. Um, maybe we can do this. Oh, we don't have to do this. Okay. I'm not going to cut or edit this because you guys need to see how he transforms. I'm saying this one is not as tight as that one. This one you can easily pop. I just opened this one from packaging. I've never transformed it. This is the first time I'm transforming it. So we're, we're seeing this for the first time together. How I transform him. Uh, fold, fold, rotate, rotate. Yeah, again, the, the transformation is the same. The engineering is the same. And you put the crutch, the crutch, the crotch up to his face like that. And... Hold the hood right here. Okay. Okay. Fold the arms up. Tab. I'll admit, lockdown does transform better than um, than hot rod. Does he have windows? Oh, he does not have windows. Does he? Did I forget to unfold anything? Nope, 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 nope. Been a while. Sorry, my bad. Okay. Yep, nothing. Looks like there should have been windows, but I don't see anything. I don't know. My eyes are defective, or that's really just the mold. Okay, so that's how you transform it. Roughly the same as this guy. Let's get right to it. Attach. This one has windows right here, as you can already see. Rotate, as I mentioned in the earlier review. And fold these. Transform and fold. Oh, sorry. Okay, um, rotate, rotate, fold these up like that, squeeze those arms in, squeeze those arms in, tab them here, tab them here, and here there's that extra piece that's not present right here, um, because the wheel obviously is not on the arm and here it's arm so you need extra tabs to secure that arm assembly right there okay, and lastly okay. and uh and there you go alt modes are obviously different they're 
Uh, hot Rod is obviously much bigger than Lockdown. Lockdown is an Aventador. An Aventador is very long, but for some reason, Hasbro scrimped on Age of Extinction and Dark of the Moon. They made Deluxe Class figures smaller. It's not bad. Uh, this one I forgot to mention. I neglected to mention. It is a Centenario. Yes, thank you for pointing that out. It's not... Um, it's not the Sesto Elemento or the um, the Hurricane or whatnot. It is a Centenario. It's a new Lamborghini model. Very, very sharp looking. Very, very nice. And the Aventador was much longer, but it's not appearing this way. Uh, so better, better use of the mold. It's a better size, better engineering, I think, on an existing engineering, and existing mold. I do like it much better than the Lockdown figure. Um, but the Lockdown figure, take nothing away from it. It's okay. It's not great, I have to admit, but it's okay as a representation in deluxe class form. Um, but this one, good enough. Much better. I wish they could have made him bulkier. I wish they could have put more mass on him. But given that he is a, a Lamborghini, they had to make him very slender, as I mentioned in my review. So there you go, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this little side-by-side -side direct comparison of Transformers. The Last Night Deluxe Class Hot Rod and Transformers Age of Extinction Deluxe Class Lockdown. This one's by Takara Tomi. This is the Walmart exclusive by Hasbro. Thanks for watching.